Sometimes you have a problem with decoupage. If you don't get enough glue, I don't know if you can see it, I'm trying to angle the light. There's a bubble right there. A little one there, a little one there. I need to fix that because, I mean, this is about gonna cover it, but I don't like mistakes. So I'm gonna show you how I'm going to attempt to fix it done this before and it does work. Take a little bit of your glue, whatever glue you're using. In this case, I'm using Mod Podge. It's going to be a little too thick, so I've got to add some water. Okay, take a syringe, try to keep one down here for this very reason if I have a problem. Okay, so I'm gonna stick the syringe. Actually, I'm gonna go from this end because that outer edge may show. So I'm gonna carefully stick it up under the paper. Slowly push it in, wipe that off. This bubble did not show up until I was spraying it with the fixative. I was hoping it would shrink back down, but it did not. So, I lost battery on my camera when I was showing the fixative and why to use it. It's Krylon fixative. And the purpose of it is to spray it onto anything that you're using that is a water-based product such as pastels or watercolor. Because if you try to seal right away brushing that on, um, it's just going to smear. And because those pencils that I was using were lead base water washes it off, I had to spray with a fixative, two coats two light coats, and then you're good to go. That is much, much better. Oh, 
to be sure to rinse your needle several times. That watered down glue isn't wasted because I just stuck it back in the Mod Podge bottle. And we'll put you away and hope we never have to use you again. As I explained in my last video, when using the hardy soft air dry clay, um, when it's brand new, it's very pliable and a little on the sticky side. So, I like to use cornstarch when the clay is brand new. When it's not so new and there's not as much moisture in it, I really don't have a problem with it sticking. But when it's new, I do. I don't know if you can see how incredibly pliable this is. Now, um, another thing you can do with this clay in order to get it out of the mold easily is just leave it in the mold for about 10 or 15 minutes while it sets up and it's gonna be a lot easier to get out of the mold. In a lot of my videos, you've seen me use a tool, this tool. This is a Japan scraper, comes in several different widths. I used to sell them when I had my uh, decorative finishing, my faux finishing store. A lot of people have asked me about those, where I got them. Um, it does not work very well on this hardy clay because the clay is well, super rubbery and sticky. So, to get a flat back uh, when I'm using this clay, it's easier for me just to use a brayer on it. And to get the edges really nice, I just have to use my fingers to do that probably have to do it again since this sprayer is going to flatten everything out. Oop. Wonderful. So, we'll do that again. This time I'll dust my sprayer with a little bit of cornstarch. Maybe that'll keep it from sticking. And then just use your thumb to go around it. works really easily in the IOD molds because they have this patented micro rim that you can push your thumb against. In the cheap molds, some not so cheap, that's much harder to do and you just kind of have to mess with it on the edge with your fingers. All right, I'm gonna attempt to get this out of here and if it doesn't come easily, I will let it sit. Okay, see it's not pulling away easily. So, I'm gonna let it sit and tack up while I go spray my boards with a second coat of the Krylon Fixative. You have to do that because that pencil that I showed you is water-based. And if I were to just start 
brushing on a sealer, it would smear everywhere. So the fixative is gonna prevent that from happening. Well, after letting it sit for about 10 minutes, it was still sticking in the mold. Um, but I will say I hadn't brushed that mold with cornstarch again after I had messed it up with the brayer. Uh, that's probably part of the problem. But I discovered a solution here. Adding some heat, blow dryer, heat gun, whatever, the edges started uh, drying and coming away from the sides. And that was the ticket. It made it super easy to then remove. Now, um, this was only my second new package of the Hardy Soft Clay. And the first one I had discovered uh, that my bag that I had put it in wasn't completely sealed. And so the top of the clay had gotten a little dry. Probably all of the clay had gotten a little drier. And that's why I didn't seem to have any problem uh, didn't even have to use cornstarch in the mold. So, um, this is my solution. A combination of cornstarch and then using my heat gun to blow the edges and it makes it come out pretty easily. Because this clay is uh, not hard yet, in fact it's quite soft still, I want to go ahead and paint it, but I'm using a very soft brush. Usually I use something much stiffer, like this, but when your clay is soft, soft brush if you want to paint it before it dries. molds. This one has a slight indentation right here. And this one's pretty bumpy. I don't like that 
for decoupaging, I think it will show up. So let me show how I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna use some air dry clay, IOD air dry clay, and not, not the hardy clay that I did the mold in. So I'll roll it out just super thin. I don't want to create more texture. But with the air dry clay, IOD's air dry clay, I can use water to really smooth that surface out. So, just going to put just a tiny bit of glue right where that mess is. I'm just going to wet my hands and rub that clay, the edges especially, to kind of melt it into the rest of the top of the mold. This mold's not completely dry yet, so I'm being careful. I don't want to get more dense. And I could have waited until it was completely dry, but I'm impatient. Okay, now I will let it completely dry. And if I have to sand it at all, which I probably will sand it just ever so slightly, it'll be a smooth surface then. So same thing here.
this second coat, you can actually use heat to both dry it and the heat will give you more cracks. However, when I applied this, it was late in the afternoon, I was tired, so I just let it dry overnight. There are some cracks, but not a lot. So at this point, if I apply heat, it's gonna crack even more. When using Pentart's um, two-step crackle, you have to finish it with a solvent-based sealer. So this is Pentart's clear varnish in gloss. 